Hey everybody, TheGamingGuru51 here, and welcome back to Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga! In the last episode, we continued our way through the Chucklehug Woods, fighting a ton of enemies, and recovering some beans to some big trunk guys who we could progress on through, and we made it here to the end, so let's go ahead, in this episode, jump right in, and we'll go ahead and see what's at the very end. Now let's see if we're fully prepared. Eh, we can go for some healing just a little bit, with some syrups and all that, but let's jump right in. What do idiots drink? Soda! What do sodas call their dads? Pop! A hippie's favorite soda? Granola Cola! My name is Bubbles. I built Chato's Death Taco Huck and I found Chocola Cola Incorporated. And I am the ultimate comedian with the laughing and the chorting and the ha ha ha! Yes, Monsieurs! Indeed, what you see before you is the most legendary of sodas, the Chocola Reserve! And I am pleased to tell you, this Chocola Reserve is yours to enjoy! Really? Hee har har har! I have worked on Chocola Reserve for a thousand years! Telling it joke after joke so it would mature, and then mature some more, and then yet more! Until at last the greatest soda of all would be completed with the fizz and the tastiness! Because it is a soda of such high caliber and repute, rude guests meet a space such as this. Un. De. Toi! That's no ordinary soda, eh? We can't stand up to such a beverage. Grr. The great Chocola Reserve is a thing to savor, with the flavor and the tang and yum in the belly. Uh oh. That's that's kind of scary. Ah, oh, it is wonderful, so wonderful! The great soda shines. However, that was not the only hidden soda power that my jokes have bred over these thousand years. Now I insist you fully experience the texture, taste, and aroma of Chocola Reserve. Bon appetit! All right, this is the Chocola Man. And he's, uh, he's quite scary. He's actually a pretty challenging boss from what I remember. Um, let's see if we can do this thing. I believe his shield is going to make his defenses impenetrable. Or, well, but yeah, we'll break the shield and then we can do some big damage to him. So basically, I'm just going to be using the knockback bros and the chopper bros, respectively, to do some damage. And that's basically it. And depending on where he shoots his gun is where the uh, attack's going to go. But of course, I'll usually dodge with both brothers anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much. Well, let's go ahead and bring on the Chopper Bros. We are trying to get the uh, the advanced commands for these moves, so hopefully sooner rather than later we can grab them. I know you need a lot of uses out of these two Bros moves to get the action commands. I think this is usually the part where I end up getting it anyway, so maybe I'll get it this time. Who knows? Oof. And he's really close, which makes these attacks really hard to dodge. Right, let's go ahead and do another uh, Chopper, Chopper Bros. Do some big damage. And then for the Luigi Man, we'll do some knockback action. Can I please get the action command? No, not quite. That's unfortunate. But basically, as soon as you see him shoot the whatever he's shooting out of his thing, then you just want to jump. But if you're too early, then you have a problem. But I think I'm going to need to heal. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll heal on Mario's turn. Why not? I don't know who's doing more damage right now, Mario or Luigi. But it's funny because I believe since knockback bros is Luigi's move, but it uses Mario as the attack. Basically, it takes Mario's damage output, which is kind of cool. Also, nice. Who hears horse horses? And the jokes give him HP. Go figure. So from this, you just want to... Oh, he's fast. He's a fast one. He is the fastest boy of all boys. All right, so I'm going to have to go ahead and heal up this turn here. But basically, when he's shrunk down like that, it means he's pretty much almost done, so that's good. I don't know why I used a nut, knowing that, you know, Luigi needs help. But there we go, did some damage there. So, just a few more turns. Actually, you know what? I'll just go ahead and do this, why not? I don't know what's doing more damage at this point. <laughs> he is immune to Splash Bros, go figure. I'm guessing the game wants you to use these moves, and nice! Gone he is! Very nice, with a ton of experience to boot. Level 13 Mario, nice and lucky, I guess. Uh, I guess that would be time for HP. Oh, come on. Out of all the force you've given me on the screen, you only gave me a plus two. How unfortunate. Well, Luigi's at level 13. 
I guess we'll give him some HP as well. Let's see if he gets better luck than Mario. Of course! Out of all the fours, give me plus one, dude! Ugh. No! But, but the jokes, the puns, the humor I've seen over the last thousand years! Are you kidding? What a sore loser! Au revoir! What a sore loser. Literally the sorest loser I've ever met in my whole life. Oh, and this is bad. Now that we're Luigi, this, I believe this is one of the few moments in the game where we're actually split. And Luigi can get into fights in here. There are some enemies he can fight. I try my very best not to get into any fights if possible. And that is only because I want the bros to kind of gain the same experience. I don't want them to diverge off of each other too much. And I know that sounds kind of silly, but I really, really don't like my bros getting too far off from each other in terms of experience. So, in the event that this does happen, I need to just try to run away, so I don't try to stay in this fight too long. I don't think I've ever shown off running away. Oh, of course. Okay. I don't think I've ever shown off running away before. Basically, you just lose coins kind of like you do in Paper Mario until you run away successfully. And, I mean, coins aren't the biggest problems to deal with here. So for here, it's got some coins. And then we should be near the end. Actually, it's right here. Nice. <laughs> and seriously? Oh, it's going to ride it. Yo-ho! And away we go. I'm guessing this is going to take us straight over to the castle, right? Yes, it does. Look at this nice little trip he's made. And Mario's assault. Hmm, well look at this, a very Mario-esque fellow and a l l uh, some other guy. Of course. You know he's the one that did all the kind of work. What? What is it? Mario's gut is filled with a brew with a cola reserve? It's sloshing around his insides? Gross. But that's terrible. It's sort of disgusting. We must contact Lady Lima immediately. Hmm, by the way, what's your cola reserve? Shh, I have no idea. <laughs> so hopefully this will work. Queen Bean has been in a deep sleep, just as you see her now. Did you truly obtain some of the legendary Tricola reserve? Yes, we have. Larf! And that is a gross thing. There's the belly black worm. Get out of here, sir. Now here is the real Queen Bean before you. A nice, jolly good lady. Oh, success! A truly repugnant yet truly tremendous success! Queen Bean has returned! Oh, that's the hardest I've ever laughed in a long, long time! What the Lady Lama! No, Your Highness, it is not I, but rather the Mario Bros whom you must thank. <laughs> hmm, so Kakletta has stolen Princess Peach's voice and the Bean Star! It was my fault. Nonsense! But why would Kakletta steal the Bean Star and Princess Peach's voice in the first place? Huh? There's some lore. The Beanstalk is the protector of this land and it has the power to grant any and all desires. To prevent such power from being used for evil, the Beanstalk was cast into a deep sleep. It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Beanstalk from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul. Where's Peach's voice? In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. So the reason Kecklona stole Princess Vita's voice... Ah, she must plan to awaken the Beanstalk and fulfill all of her desires! And there's no mistaking her one true desire to rule the world! <laughs> we are not! I foresaw this desire of hers long, long ago! We are prepared! Card for card, we have a better hand than she! What does that mean? Your Highness, Prince Beasley has arrived! Perfect timing, Master Mario, Master Luigi! Head on to meet Prince Beasley! Off we go, indubitably, imbuhinably, and lubilibly. Yo-ho! Yo Hello there, Prince Paisley! Cheers to Red and Greeny! Thank you for your help earlier! That is not the voice I gave you last time. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission is about to pay off. <laughs> How flashy can you be, honestly? Prince Paisley, excellent work on your mission! Have you learned the whereabouts of Kakletta? Hehehe! <laughs> Thanks to you! Absolutely! 
Southeast of this castle is Woohoo University, our local research institution. Kakleta and her underlings have just snuck in there into Woohoo University. Thank you for telling me twice, because I need to know twice. Yes, of course! Woohoo University is the perfect place to awaken the beanstalk! Ooh, that voice. I intend to march into Woohoo University right this instant! May we meet again! <laughs> Oof, hiccups. Master Mario, Master Luigi, this may be a chance to recover Princess Peach's voice! I shall inform the locals that you are not are to be allowed passage on the road to Woohoo University! Oh, yes, we will. We are going there. Not immediately. <laughs> I'm pretty sure now we have access to certain areas now that we couldn't otherwise explore before, so we'll be off to doing that in just a second. But first, let's go ahead and take Mario here and go inside this little hole, because I believe there's a maze that we have to navigate. And I already went the wrong way, of course, of course. But I'm sure we get something pretty useful in here if we complete it. And I don't remember the maze off the top of my head too much, but I think... Yeah, this is the right way, good. Go in here. Oh, there's hidden blocks in here, which contains a Who Bean! Now, I do believe these are the only ways to get Who Beans is from invisible blocks. And I don't know if there's any more than these three, but... Eh. I'm not sure if I'll get all the Who Beans, but I'll get as many as I can. There is something that will be useful for these beans later on, like the reason why we're picking them up. But once again, I'm not sure if I'll be doing everything there is to do involving the beans, but I'll see what I can. But if you go in here, it's another warp, which will take us to Castle Town, and now we have three warps. I believe there are seven or eight in the game, in terms of the warps, so once again, they're actually really useful. But now that we have done that, we can go ahead and do some exploration, since the town seems to be up and back and running again. So let's see if there's anything new in the shop to buy. Uh, let's see what you got. Oh, you got some new stuff here. The parasol pants increase the HP, but lowers your... It says defense up. During the battle, it increases your... That's weird. Uh, lowers your HP, but increases your defense. I don't like that. The heart genes increases your HP, but lowers your defense. I mean, that would be good. Once I always talk about HP is important, and if you dodge every attack, then you're basically good at the game. But I don't see any reason to get any of this equipment for right now. I think we're pretty much good with what we got. We have some nice badges, the Bean B badge, the most popular badge in the kingdom, for some real damage. It only increases it by two. More manager special, what a bargain. So it's just cheap. Your attack goes up, but your BP goes downward significantly. <laughs> uh, wow, and Luigi is stronger as of right now, I believe. That's weird. Hmm. No, no, I think I'll take the Beam B badge since it does only benefit Mario by increasing his attack, so we'll go ahead and equip that. As for Luigi, I'm debating putting this on. I'm not sure if I want to. I mean, it only. I mean, it's a pretty significant attack increase with a little bit of BP co uh, lower cost, but it doesn't do anything in terms of any special, any special abilities, but I think I'll go ahead and just take it anyway. And then we'll just hold on to that for now. Um, I could sell off what I have, but I'm, I'm just going to hold on to it for later, I guess. I don't know. But I believe up here is the whole reason why we were collecting beans in the first place. And if we check our inventory, we can actually see how many beans we do have. I believe we can check it here. Yeah, right here. We have eight woo beans, three who beans, and then we have 18 chuckle beans and two he beans. And it says you can blend these beans at the Star Beans Cafe, which is where we actually are. So that's cool. Hey, this is the famed Star Beans Cafe that everyone's so buzzed about. Got any complaints, compl compliments? Now you already know about our special Star Bean system, right? Uh, no. Righto, then listen up good as I explain it to you. The Star Bean system was created by Star Beans Cafe to expand our menu when you bring us beans. Here's the deal. Get rare beans by digging or battling or playing minigames and bring them here. When you bring us new kinds of beans, we'll add them to our menu and nefariously patient patent them. By the way, at the moment, I'm needing these beans in these quantities to expand my menu. Woohoo Blend is 25, Woohoo Blend is 25, Chuckle Blend is 25, and he Tee Hee Beans 25. Woohoo Bean is 15 Woo Beans and 10 Who Beans. Chuckle Chino is 15 and 10. Tee Hee Espresso is 15 and 10. The more my menu expands, the more customers will come here to partake in my wonderful bean juice. And I don't think we have enough beans to really do anything in here quite yet, so I will be sure to hold off and we'll come back when we have more beans. We don't even have 25 of any of the beans yet, so we'll definitely not be taking care of that yet. Durr! Quite a while, I get the urge to go nap under a roof. Then I rest myself a room. Durr! But even then, they're really big enough for me. This room is nice, isn't it? 
It has a heater and a window and no old bath or toilet. It's three years old and three seconds to the cafe. But as nice as it is, you can't have it. I'm just now renting it to that fellow over there. Oh, I didn't want it anyway, so... Whatever's to you. The thing about this kingdom is that there are all kinds of beans buried deep under the soil. Yeah, if you see a strange hollow in the ground, there's almost always something under there. Of course, digging down to get stuff is such a pain that nobody ever bothers to do it. The town is back to normal, but now there's a ruckus up at the castle. What's next? I sure hope nothing else terrible has happened. Eh, I think we've basically taken care of everything so far. A lot of the bugs decided to move into my old book, so I'm airing them all out. It's cheap fungum... fungum... Fu... Fu... And battles, the LNR button is useful for moving back to the previous menu. These are just battle stuff that no one cares about, because we already know all the stuff and all that... What's in here, though? I'm just kind of just doing this to waste a little bit of time. I have never actually gone to talk to any of the people in here before, or really explored too much into these places. So it's just kind of cool to explore a little bit before we move on forward, because I really don't want to move too far into the next section just yet. What the heck is this? Mwahaha! <laughs> Welcome, despite appearances, this is the most definitely a shop. The product we deal is information, so would you like some quality information for only 100 coins? Uh, no. Oh, uh, oh, he just tells you where to go in case you get lost. I understand. Didn't ever think of that, but what's over here? Anything? No? Okay, you'd think there'd be something like invisible or whatever over there, but... Woohoo University is the center of all scientific research in the Bean Bean Kingdom. Apparently it's southeast of the town, not that I've been there. I'd love to study up and become a researcher at Woohoo University. Well, you're not going to, so... Sucks. What's up here? Oh, it's just... Oh, okay, I've never actually went this way. Yet. Yeah, there's a lot of places to explore here in this area, so... Oh, you can retake your pictures for the, uh... The passport if you want, but we don't really need to do that. I like the ones I currently have. What's down here? You can get up here. Now, is there anything beneficial to doing this? I mean, they allow you to do so, but I don't know what the purpose of that is. Unless I'm missing something, then you guys can just let me know in the comments or whatever. But, eh, who knows? There's still more places to explore, so let's go ahead and just visit inside the buildings. <clears throat> on the island out to sea, on the right edge of the map, there is a place where you can learn hand powers. Did you know that? No. I suppose that makes sense. There is no reason you should know. In fact, I've only heard rumors of it myself. <laughs> Basically. Oh, who beans? Yay! So many who beans, syrups, and more who beans. We're gonna need those beans, I'm telling you. It's kind of nice. The most important thing to do when traveling overseas is save. That's right, save. They say that saving is the best traveler's insurance around. I mean, they're not wrong. Saving is good. If there's ever anything you don't understand, you should ask the town super expert. Of course, he doesn't give out super advice for free. I'm sure he'll ask for a little bit of that. Nah, yeah, we're not gonna do any of that. We know where we're going. I bet if you press the L and R button simultaneously, you'll both switch to the solo jump icon. I bet that's useful for when there are little ledges you have to get up. Just a thought. Oh, like... Wait, what? Oh, that's cool! Like, I didn't know that! If you press them both at the same time, it, like, resets the screen. That is so cool. Jeez, for some reason, my grandpa has been saying really bizarre things lately. Maybe it's just his age, but there's but he's so loud that there's no ignoring him. That is actually really cool. I've never thought of that. Holy cow. I'm just learning something new. Wow, to think, right? Oh, and here I believe you could buy some mushrooms. Oh, yeah, this is the shop where you could... Okay, then I'm just dumb, because clearly... I don't even know. But I think we pretty much explored everywhere we could for the time being. So I'm actually going to go ahead and head to our save point here. And we'll actually call this an episode. We did quite a bit. Not a lot, a lot. We just kind of explored Bean Bean Castle Town. And, you know, we did fight a boss in the beginning of the episode. But that was all cool and dandy. Next time on Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, we're going to be heading to the Who 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 University. We're off to our next destination, and that is pretty much where Cackletta is. We're going to go in hot pursuit, and it's going to be a good time. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. I will see you guys then.